In this lecture, we're going to look at the following example that involves motion at constant acceleration. So let's begin. Suppose the runway of a certain airport is 200 meters long. Now, if a certain airplane can accelerate at 2 meters per second second and requires a velocity of 30 meters per second to take off, can this airplane take off on this uh, runway in this airport? So here's our illustration. Suppose we have the airplane at a position of x naught equals 0 meters and it needs to travel 200 meters on the runway in our airport. So our distance or displacement from this position to this position is 200 meters long. Now the question is the following. What is the velocity that our airplane will reach when it gets from this position to this position? Now if this velocity is less than the takeoff velocity, then it will not be able to take off because our runway will end. If the velocity is equal to or greater than our takeoff velocity, then our airplane will be able to take off. So we're going to use the following formula to find our final velocity at position x final. Because we know x initial is simply zero, x final is 200, we know our acceleration, and we know our v initial, which is simply zero meters per second. So we plug all these guys in, and we get the following result. So this guy cancels out, this guy becomes 200, and we get simply 2 times 2 times 200 equals v final squared. So to get rid of this exponent, we, d we uh, take the square root of both sides and we get 800, because 2 times 2 times 200 is 800, square root gives us approximately 28.28 .28 meters per second. <coughs> In other words, when our airplane travels, 200 meters on our runway, it reaches a speed of only 30 meters per second, um, 28.28 .28 meters per second, which is not enough because it requires speed of 30 meters per second to take off from this runway. So this airplane will not be able to use this airport because the runway is simply too short. So now suppose I want to find what length of a runway we need for our airplane to take off. So once again, we can use the, uh, the same equation, but now our unknown is our displacement. And now we know our V final, and we're gonna use our takeoff speed and plug it into V final. So, 30 squared equals zero squared plus two times two times X. Now our displacement is X. We plug it into the calculator, and we solve for X, and we get then our runway should be two, 225 meters long. So if the runway is this long, then our airplane will in fact be able to take off.